In this video, I'm going to share three CSS tips that can improve your CSS skills. And we're going to be starting with color mix. Color mix is a function in CSS which allows you to mix two colors together. For example, let's say we have a button here which says click me. Then here we can come to the button, color white, padding 20 pixels, and then we can have something like background color. Then we have color mix. The first argument is the color space that you want to mix in. I can use in sRGB, which is standard red, green, blue. Then let's say I want to mix blue and red. Now if we come here, you see blue and red, which is purple. You can also mix red and yellow which is going to be orange and you can also specify the percentage of one color in the mix for example you can say i want a red of 10 percent which means the yellow is going to be 90 percent can say i want a yellow of 70 percent which means the red is going to be 30 percent and one way i like using color mix is to create lighter shades or darker shades of color for example here i have this red i can say i want a dark shade so i can mix this with a black of 10 percent and we have have this dark red if i say 60% you can see we have even a darker red and i can also say white and in this white i can mix 30% so we have a lighter shade of red another thing i like doing a lot is mixing colors with transparent so that way i can have transparent colors so here i can mix this with a transparent of 30% and the red becomes a bit transparent let me add a background color to this body so you can see the transparency let's call this green so now if i mix this with a transparent of 90%. Oops, that's very transparent. Let's make this 70%. You can see a bit of the red, but this is transparent. As for the browser support of Color Mix, you can find this on canaius.com and you can see that it is supported on the recent versions of these browsers. For tip two, let's talk about the has pseudo class. The has pseudo class allows you to style an element when it has another selector. So let's say we have a div and in this div we have an input. We we can style this div when this input is in focus using the has pseudo class and we can say when a div has an input in the focus state then we're going to style the div so then we can give the div a one pixels solid red let's say by default the div has a border of one pixels solid green padding 10 pixels. Let me make these two pixels. So by default, the div has a border of two pixels solid green. Now, when the input comes in focus, the div now has a border of red. So you can see that with the hash pseudo class, we can style the div when the input is in focus. And you can do a lot of interesting things here. You can use any valid CSS selector here. And as long as this selector has this selector, then you can style this selector. Unlike color mix, however, this is not full supported in all browsers. They supported in the recent versions of Chrome Edge and Safari but as for Firefox there is a condition here you have to turn on a particular flag for this to work. As for the third CSS tip we're going to be looking at sibling combinators. Sibling combinators allows you to style a sibling of another element. Let me show you some examples. Let's say we have a button here that says hi and we have a span here that says hello. Now you can target this span which is a sibling of this button and how to do that here you can say button and then by using the tilde this is a general sibling combinator so by having button span like this it will style any span that is a sibling of this button which means any span that comes after this button so let's say we have three spans here this is hello and this is thank you so here we can say the span has a border of five pixels solid brown and if we come here you can see that this way we are able to target all the spans that comes after the button like this and if you only want to style the span that comes immediately after the button then you can use the plus the plus is the adjacent sibling combinator which styles the element that comes immediately after this first element so now if i refresh you can see it styles only the first span because this comes after the button if i should have a h1 here this would not style the span because the span does not come immediately after the button so if i remove this and i go back you can now see this is the adjacent sibling combinator and one great way you can use this is for example let's say you have a form and then you have an input and in this input you have a placeholder that says John Doe and then you have a label and this label you say enter name. I'm going to comment this part. Now you can do something like 
if the input has its placeholder showing you can select the adjacent label sibling and then for this label you can just give this border one pixel solid red now if you come here you can see the label has a border of one pixel solid red because the placeholder is showing but once you type and the placeholder is not showing the border does not show again placeholder starts showing we select the label sibling combinator and we style that label so you can use this in a lot of interesting ways to be able to style sibling elements of another sibling as for the browser support of sibling combinators they are very well supported in different browsers i hope you enjoyed this css tips let me know in the comments which of them was your favorite and if you would also love to learn more about sibling combinators i have a full video on it it's currently somewhere on the screen you can check it out please give this video a like share with others and subscribe for more css tips like this